Hello everyone, it's Agnes coming to you with the embroidery hoop, some paint, some jute and some wire. And I am on a mission today to make some garland. If you follow me for some time, you know that I've made a project in the past. I made actually the lanterns for my patio using embroidery hoop exactly the same way. Today, I am going to actually try to turn my idea of lanterns into the little pumpkin garland. So notice what I've done. I removed the screw from the mini hoop embroidery hoop and now i'm going to obviously um secure it with the hot glue a little bit of the wire just to make sure that nothing falls apart and then i am going to of course insert um additional two hoops because that's how you know it's going to be nice and round pumpkin right there and of course you can um you can secure it with the hot glue you really don't have to at this point i would say later in the assembly so here we go we've got a tiny pumpkin and of course make sure to check my blog for the lanterns I've made um, with the solar light for the patio so now let's worry about the stem so I do have I would say around 20 inches of a thick wire that I'm going to wrap around the little you know thing that I've created on the top and I'm going to actually leave two ends on the side because I want to make the curlies out of those so here we go, pumpkin is done. Now we're going to just wrap with the twine. Of course, secure it a little bit with the hot glue at the beginning to make the installation nice and solid. And I am going to keep on wrapping, of course, if I would not tangle that into my uh, little curlies that I am planning on making later. So um, as you can see, is I'm wrap wiping. I mean, uh, wrapping only the uh, the folded portion. I'm leaving the two ends uh, of my wire um, on the side, so I can work on those later. Okay, so I'm going to just secure it on the top to make sure that my wires that my uh, jute stays on the wire, and I will work my way down all the way to the bottom to make sure that anything that I left uh, exposed wire wise, it's nicely uh, covered. And as I always say is I really do not worry about that bottom portion because we are going to be adding some embellishments later. So that will be perfect for now. So here we go a little bit uh, um, of the uh, uh, twisting of my freshly made uh, um, trunk or whatever that is not the trunk the stem and now we're going to use some um, tin and in this case I'm using the other uh, paintbrush to just twirl the wire that I left it exposed and create the little cute curlies you can of course create more of them but uh, you know two for now it's enough so now I'm going to show you quickly how to make a uh, another um, pumpkin with the uh, two I mean again three hoops again but notice they do have those fasteners right on it so I do not want you to waste it I you know me I do not like to waste things so I'm just going to start the same way glue the first one together and then the second one I do want it to bend my um, ends to make sure that I can nicely install it's a tricky connection with the second pumpkin but i promise with the second hoop but i promise it's going to work but i do want it to actually reinforce it and create a little loop um with the wire and wrap the bended pieces all around and just pull it together and as you can see is in that process everything was falling apart so now i do have a loop and i'm going to hot glue it again and i'm going to simply push it and twist it to make sure that my hot glue is not going to be compromised anymore and of course you could use the e6000 there are other ways but i promise that one is going to also work um, so now all is um, adjusted now all is secured and we got it to make sure that um, the piece on the bottom now is um, secured with the hot glue and as you can see is when I inserted the third mini, hoop, mini embroidery hoop everything becomes super tight so I'm super pleased about it okay so now it's time to cover all up and I thought at the beginning well maybe I should just do it with the twine but you know what I changed that my mind and I'm going to do again um, with the wire and I'm going to reinforce again all of them together um, and of course create my stem so I've done the same thing I pulled out around 20 inches of uh, uh, wire and then uh, folded in half exposed the ends because obviously we are creating here um, 
the uh, the little curlies all at once and that will be it so now finally i can bring my jute to it of course started with a little bit of the hot glue and start my um wire um wrapping process again I am almost finishing my second pumpkin into my garland. I do wanted to let you know that all the details uh, and a whole supply list will be available on my blog post tonight. So you can go back and check the description box to get the link to my blog post. And of course, see my lantern that I made with uh, lights from my patio that are actually very similar um, idea but i think with this one i am going to literally use uh, my um, use maybe some embellishments on the top obviously create some leaves and most likely add some you know uh, twinkling lights and place that on my fireplace well i am this is so much fun to make and i may actually end up making one for the outside too you never know okay so it's all done right there now it's time to create some cur curlies Did I mention that I am so addicted to making pumpkins? I mean, they are the cutest. I'm telling you, I see them all over the place. I see weird shapes uh, um, of things around me that I can turn into pumpkins in no time. Okay, so now all is done. Curlies are stretched out and let's go to embellishments. Obviously, the sky is the limit, but I just wanted to add the leaves that I had uh, left over from one of the Dollar Tree picks. So that's what I'm going to do. And I'm going to add one of each, I think. But as I'm looking at it, um, I think that I need something else. And of course, I still do not know which way do I go if I go, I'm going to end up making, um, if I'm going to making, adding um, maybe raffia, maybe moss or light. I do not know about it. But for now, I'm just going to add the leaves. But if you follow me for some time, you do know that I love me some Mackenzie Child and there will be no project <laughs> if I will not try to squeeze some pattern in there. Can you uh, figure out where am I going to add that pattern here? Goodness, how cute those pumpkins look already, but I still want to make them cuter. And yes, if you guess that I am going to bring some courtly check, you are right. And I'm going to actually try to create the leaves out of my duct tape. Yes, duct tape. Um, I'm going to fold it in half, as you can see, as I f and, and I'm going to try to create um, a little shape of the uh, uh, leaves out of um, that tape. And of course, I could have actually created my own leaves, but you know what? That's much faster and, and, and it's more fun to do it. So I'm going to also list in the description uh, box where did I get my uh, duct tape. So it's again the same story, not a big fuss. I'm just going to use the hot glue here and, and of course, closer to the leaf that I already have, install my, um, my uh, courtly check, Mackenzie Child inspired second leaf. Oh my goodness, I'm loving every single uh, uh, p uh, uh, part of that pumpkin right now. Can it get any cuter? Oh my goodness, so cute. But as you can see, I'm using my paintbrush to make sure that my installation is good and my fingers are not burned. Okay, so there are, again, um, ideally, I would wanted to use some beads, um, the longer one, but I did not have them available. So I decided for now, put just the jute um, and you know right through my pumpkins and of course secure it with the hot glue to make sure that my uh, pumpkins are staying still how cute that's going to be I cannot wait to bring my twinkle lights um, uh, and insert them throughout the uh, the pumpkins and even the uh, the cording that I am creating right there. How cute that is! And of course, if you are looking for more um, ideas, you can actually. Uh, put in between each pumpkin some kind of a tassel you can put a uh, ribbon there are so many options but now look at this my pumpkin garland is all done and nicely hanging all together i cannot wait to make the pictures for you 
and here they are actually look how cute those are this is actually hanging on the on the fireplace um in my house but uh, how pretty are those and i'm actually thinking that i should be um adding a little bit of the blink to each one of those but i have to make that decision when i see them um with the twinkle lights so i really hope that you did enjoy this quick project and i hope that this inspired you to get some embroidery hoops and make fun decoration for your uh, fall garland and it's again um, if you did enjoy this please don't forget to spread the news that there is a cute project out there and don't forget to subscribe i would love to have you on board it's again thanks for watching bye